Outside of work, I am a yogi. Well, I guess inside of work, I'm a yogi too. A lot of yogis will try to keep a beginner's mind. If you kind of keep that idea of being at the beginning of your knowledge and having your eyes wide open, then you're not going to be tunnel vision. I think that's translatable to science. We all need to remember to keep a beginner's mind. My name's Alicia Scotia, and I'm a genetic counselor. A genetic counselor is someone who can take the letters of your DNA and really translate it into something that most people can understand and integrate into their healthcare. If you're coming to me for a piece of information, then I'm an educator. If they're coming to talk about how this information impacts their lives, I'm a counselor. If they're coming to me to talk about how they can't get any services and they need my help, I'm a patient advocate. If they're coming to me because they're like, everybody in my family has cancer, what's going on? Then I'm a family historian. It's a lot of different hats, but all of those hats are what different patients need at different points in their journey. My favorite part of my job is kind of like playing investigator. Your sequencing file is ready, the data pops up. I can configure a few things and then all of a sudden one of them really sticks out and I say, oh, that's gotta be it. It's almost like you're going through suspects, like, you know, variants that might be causing the disease and you're like, no, that can't be it. It has an alibi, right? It's too common in the population. It, like, it probably isn't changing the protein in any significant way. And then you find one that you look at and you say, oh, it just gets exciting once you, you know, identify that candidate and can dig into it more. I hope one day the hospital around the corner in the middle of nowhere has a sequencer and the technology and software that's needed to interpret the data that comes off that sequencer readily available for all patients who need them. And it's closer than we think. <laughs>